Hey everyone, it's Mana, and today I am filming an updated What's in My Bag video. Um, this is actually the very first video that I uploaded with a What's in My Bag video, and it's been almost a year since I uploaded that video, so I decided to update it because I've changed my bag and I've changed the things that are in my bag. Um, <clears throat> but first, my background has once again changed because I'm sitting on my couch instead of in front of my couch. Um, I just thought it would be more comfortable to film this video. So, getting into the video, I have, um, my bag is now this Olsen Boy, um, satchel, school satchel bag or whatever, um, that I got last summer? August. I got it in August. And, um, it's just got these two pockets in the front, and they snap. They look like they're buckles, but they snap. And then a a handle, so you can carry it like this, which makes it look kind of more rucksacky, I guess. But I don't usually carry it like that. I normally wear it like this on the long strap and canvas bag. And then it has leather trim around it with brass hardware, hardware, and it's kind of a um, olivey brownish tan color. So um, I got this because I saw the movie Letters to Juliet when it came out in February with uh, my friend Amanda, and she um, it's the bag that uh, Sophie carries in the movie. I really, really wanted that bag, but it's like $300, so I'm trying to save up for it. I hope I'll have enough by uh, maybe February, saving a little teeny tiny bit at a time. So, until then, this bag is only $25, and it, um, it's functional, and even after I finally manage to get the bag I want, I will still um, take and use this bag on occasion, because it's a perfectly good bag for $25, bucks and it's, I've had it for since August, and the only thing is it's got a tiny thing, whatever. <laughs> um, anyways, starting with the front right pocket, I have in there, um, Twisted Peppermint Hand Lotion from Bath & Body Works, from their Christmas collection, and Dasher's Apple Mint Hand Sanitizer from Bath & Body Works' Christmas collection, and... Um, to hit the trifecta here, we have Lip Licious Palm Cider Tasty Lip Gloss from Bath & Body Works' this Christmas thing. I think. If not, I do have... No, this one's not, but I do have their apple cider one and their cinnamon one from their Christmas collection. But that's also from Bath & Body Works. And then I have a clear lip liner from Maybelline. Just because, um... I prefer clear lip liner, colored lip liner, because I can never find one that exactly matches the lipstick I'm using. And the lipstick I currently am carrying and am usually wearing is Rimmel London's um, Pink Chic Moisture Renew Lip Gloss. I like this a lot. It's really long-lasting. Um, it lasts about two hours, which is a long time for me. And it's kind of moisturizing and soft. And that's a swatch of it. I doubt you can see it because this lighting is awful. Since I moved, I haven't been able to make any makeup videos because I haven't gotten my lighting right. But then I also have in my bag um, Hard Candies Fortune Lip Gloss in 145 Fate, which it's like a magic eight ball on the top. And that is just straight up clear. Oh, the Bath and Body Works. Like a sheer berry color. Yeah, you can see that. I don't know why I swatched clear gloss for you. It's kind of stupid. And then I have a, um, a lollipop. And I also have a 
um, spiderweb hair clip from Halloween that I just happen to really like Halloween and I happen to really, really, really like these clips. I also have pumpkins and goats, but they're not in my bag right now. Then in the other pocket, front pocket, I have a compact mirror that I got from my good friend Olga for Christmas. And this is what it looks like. It's super pretty and it's, I don't know if you can see any, probably can't, but it's got like pink and um, I don't know if they're were supposed to be clear, but they're yellow now, probably because of the black bag, um, if they were supposed to be clear. Uh, crystals in this metal, you can kind of see sparkling at the top there. And it's just a really pretty compact, and I love it. And then I have Sephora brand Ultra Brilliant Lip Gloss in number 15 which at the time I bought it, number 15 was Cotton Candy Pink, but it's something else now. And I just really miss it so much. That's what it looks like, it's the very bottom one. I love this lip gloss, and I love it over the pink cheek. And then I have my Starbucks sugar-free spearmint mint, which are really leaves and printed on the mint. These are the only thing I can really have from Starbucks because coffee gives me panic attacks. But I do love the um, Earl Grey tea latte because I'm a huge, huge fan of tea. Um, and then move on to the main compartment of my bag, which has first out my sunglasses that I got um, in September, yep, the weekend of, probably on September 25th, I believe, actually. I remember because my friend Olga was in town, and the, per the other person I met in, um, Amanda, we were going to her birthday party, so, yeah, I got these that day. Um, then I have my Band-Aid case, which is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because I am awesome like that. And it has Hello Kitty and um, Shrek Band-Aid inside. Then I have the Rosebud Strawberry Lip Balm. I love this lip balm, and it's the best lip balm, moisturizer, whatever. And then I have First Bees Hand Salve, and it says a farmer's friend on the bottom there. I love this. I love the tin. I love the stuff inside, which is like a kind of a oily lotion. Um, I have Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Feet. Then I have Tissue, which is good because I have. I have half a Twix Java for chocolate pictures. I have um, pens from my bank. Actually, I have three of those in my purse. And then I have my wallet, which has. ID, bank card, Sally's card, business card, change, receipt, all that jazz. Um, I have three of the U.S. lip balms, the summer fruit, the honeysuckle honeydew, which is my current favorite, and then the Lemon Drop, which is the only one that has SPF in it, so it's the one I use when I go outside. Um, then I have my book, which is currently Never Let Me Go by, um, you know, I'm not even going to his name, or her name, I'm not even going to check. But, um, it's been made into a movie with Karen Knightley, um, Carrie Mulligan, and Andrew Garfield, I have no clue who Andrew Garfield is. But, um, it's a really good book so far. I'm 
on page 161, and I bought this book because Fleur de Force had it in one of her um, travel, one of my packing videos, and it looked like it was a good book. But previously, I had in my purse, The Virgin Suicide by Jeffrey Yug, not even going to butcher it again, and then The October Country by Ray Bradbury, which how awesome is the cover of this book? I adore it. I do. I absolutely adore the cover of this book. And I'm actually not done with this. I am on The Crowd, which is page 184. But I finished The Virgin Suicide. And then I have a purse hook in the bottom of my bag is Monogram. Because my name is not actually Mana. It is Amanda. How amazing. They have friends who names me. I'm not surprised. It's but, um, yeah. I like the monogram things. They're fun. They make me happy. And this one's shiny. It's got a. Stones or whatever. And I just bought it at Claire's, so it's not the cool kind that folds or whatever. And then the last thing in my bag is my phone, which is a Samsung Touch. And that's my lock screen, and it is, you can't see the full picture this way, um, it's a printer LCD screen that says, I love you, Amanda, and my husband did that at work one day, and then put them in the picture, and then this picture, which you can't see either, for some reason, is a guy in a yellow shirt. And then down here where all my little icons are, it says it tastes like rain. And in the background of the picture, it's raining. And I have this as my background all year round because I love rain more than anything in the world. So, that is the contents of my purse. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!